My name is Marilyn owusu Setra. I'm from the Ghanaian Association of Staten Island. And the name of my story is The Tortoise and the Hare. So one day, all of the animals in um, the forest decided to come together and figure out who is the fastest among all of us. So, of course, everyone thinks, no, I'm the fastest. No, 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 I'm the fastest. So out of nowhere, the um, hare decided to stand up boldly and he said, no, I'm the fastest out of everyone. And everybody got quiet and everyone was like, oh, my gosh, he's the fastest. Okay. So then out of nowhere, the tortoise stands up and he says, no, I'm way faster than you. I bet you I can run faster than you. And everybody gets quiet and looks at him and goes, the tortoise is not faster than the hare. And he's like, no, I'm telling you, challenge me. Let's have a race and I'll prove you wrong. So he decided to, they just all decided, okay, let's devise a plan. And they picked a day for the race. That day when the tortoise went home, he decided to gather all the tortoises together. And he said, you know what? This race isn't just about me. It's about all of us. All these animals think that we're less than and we're slow and we're dumb. They, they don't like us. So this is our chance to make our mark. So we have to make sure that we beat the hare. So the tortoise was thinking and he came up with a plan that would beat the hare. So he said, okay, I'm going to take all the tortoises that are the same size as me and put them at different vantage points along the race. So the day of the race came. And of course, like everyone expected, the hare was well ahead of the tortoise. And then he said, you know what? He looked back and he said, I don't even see the tortoise. I'm going to take a nap. And when I wake up, I'm going to make sure I'm, I know I'm going to be ahead of him. I'm going to beat him. So, of course, the rabbit, he closed his eyes and, you know, he took a little nap. And when he woke up, he looked to his left and he saw that the tortoise was walking past him. He said, how is this possible? So, of course, he picked up speed again and he started running and he passed him. And again, he said it again. Oh, the tortoise is still way back there. I have time. So this kept happening, and every time he'd open his eyes, he would see that the tortoise was still passing him. And he was like, how is this possible? How is he still passing me? So then they get to the end of the race, and of course, the tortoise walks right past the line, and he wins the race. So the moral of this story is, it's not about your own personal ability or strength. It's about being smart and using teamwork to achieve a common goal.